back to the ranch. Today, no cooking on this video. What I thought I would show you guys is our Dutch ovens and the different types of Dutch ovens we have. Now, basically, there's two types. You've got the spider Dutch ovens. The spiders will have a side uh, handle on it, and you got the bells, which is self-explanatory, the bells. So, um, and you can still find these. I don't think you can find the spiders. The spiders are antiques. As a matter of fact, we find these at antique fairs and antique shows. And uh, they're getting harder to come by. But uh, we still enjoy uh, looking for them. And we probably pay for these when we find them. We probably pay about, I will guess, $40, 50 for them. Now, the people who know what they have will charge you a lot more than that. And you can buy them and you can find them. We don't. So a little history that I know of the Dutch ovens, uh, especially on these spiders. Um, these are, some of these I think are pretty old. As a matter of fact, I'm really proud of this one. If you can look over here at, at this one. Uh, this Dutch oven here is a size 16, and it has documentation that this oven was on the, on the Santa Fe Trail. So this oven here is probably 150 years old, if not, if not older. So uh, I was able to get this, and no, I did not pay $40 for that. I'm not going to tell you how much I paid, but I'm real proud to have that. This oven here was given to me by my father-in-law. Now, uh, and I'm, I'm so pleased as much before he passed away that he gave me this one. And, and of course, these are the bells over here. Uh, this is a lodge. You can get them at any hardware store. This bell here was given to me by my brother, Gary. And it is uh, actually has my name on it and some designs, so he was able to order this. And I'm sorry, I don't remember if I can remember where he got it or ask him. I'll let you know, but it was somewhere out of, out, out west, I think, in Arizona. So, for the Dutch ovens, a, a size 10. A 10 Dutch oven is good for little cobblers. Uh, uh, if you're going to cook by yourself, maybe a little stew. Uh, but you can see, these, these, these are regular 10s that you can get uh, still from the hardware store. And uh, they're good for that. If I was going to recommend one Dutch oven for the beginner, I would say get a 12. Because uh, these 12s, you can do almost anything in. Uh, this 12 here, I've cooked roast in it. I've cooked cobblers. I've cooked stews. You name it. It's a good size. And uh, you can use it for just about anything. And it's not too heavy, especially with the, with the bell. So I would definitely recommend these. Now... On these spiders, it, uh, I've read several places, and uh, don't believe everything on the internet, but I've read several places that Paul Revere was the one that came up with the, either the uh, flange on the top and or the legs. I've heard both. I don't know if any of them are true, but I think if it is true, that's, that's pretty neat that Paul Revere came up with those things. Yeah. So, uh, while I'm talking, uh, I need to tell you that if y'all have this, I have a little 10 inch here that I found and I bought it without a lid and I found this lid that doesn't match totally. So if anybody out there has a, has a nine and a quarter, nine inch and a quarter lid, I will certainly take it. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, that's about it I have on the Dutch ovens. Uh, please uh, put your comments below and we want to see your Dutch ovens too. So send us a picture, send it to the Facebook page, Cowboy Cooking with me back and Gary and uh, put in the comments. But that's uh, that basically all the Dutch ovens. Oh, uh, I guess quickly, this one uh, here, uh, you can do just about anything in it. Uh, great for, but um, it's pretty heavy. So it, only if you're cooking for a lot of folks should you, should you want to get this puppy out. All right, well, uh, good day to you and uh, happy, happy cooking.